Well, well, well. You little peasant. If it isn't Pancho Blazer 19. <laughs> I knew you pathetic guys was going to lose today. Let's face it, New Covenant has the championship. But just one question. What are your plans for next season? Well, James, I got to say, uh, even though we can't stand each other, we don't like you that much. Yeah, even though uh, we lost against Pudding Eat this morning, uh, we did the best that we could. I mean, but there was some plays that they didn't call fouls to. And we was doing great the first half. And then the second half, like I said, we just let them come back out of nowhere. Well, they really didn't come back, but the game just kind of went their way afterwards. A guy always once said, uh, my mom's friend always said, you can be honest and be nice all you want, but there's just some people you can't help. No matter what you say, you can never help some people. And we need our coach today, Virgil Brinkleton. Well, he's not really our coach, but he's been helping us for the past couple of weeks. Let me tell you, when they suspended him today, it's suspended him for this game, that really hurt us right there. And a couple of our players had the work and stuff. I understand that. I understand sickness. But unless you're close to dying, or you working, you need to be at the games. You know, that's the difference between the city, K. Wood and Everett's, and Cumberland. See, Cumberland, like, we're lazy bombs when it comes to one championships and one victory. Because at the start, we're doing great and stuff, but in the end, our egos get in the way. And next year, in case y'all don't know or not, I will be back at CCLG playing for them. And we got new additions coming in. In LCLG, I enjoy playing with y'all. But if they get a new, a new team, I guess we'll see how it goes. And as far as the championship goes uh, down there at the men's league, I'm looking, uh, New Covenant's got it all the way. I said at the interview previously in February, I said that Wallens would be the team next to them. And I still think they will, but New Covenant season, they've been dominating. Spurlock, Jake Spurlock, Gary Greer, P Paul Harold, Peanut, Adam Riber, and Jordy Brewer. They've been dominating the entire league this year. They like to mind the heat of the HMN's league. And their coach, John Carter, is not even there, so. And they don't have any big men. But you know what? They're a surviving team. And they're determined. And the coach works with them. And if we're going to win any championships or anything, Cumberland, we have got to put our egos aside. And we have got to start playing real good. We have got to listen. And who knows? Next season, this that season may be our last chance of winning a championship or a title. But you know, if we can get the team of people that will actually show up, then we can have a then we'll have a great shot at winning the championship. And Mark Lawson, uh, man, McIntyre, Drew McIntyre, Mr. McIntyre, he was like, in the close minutes of the game this morning, he was like, let's go back to uh, front court, guys. We got this. But Mark said, no. Keep the guys right there. And I got to tell you, the way I played defense today was... Better than probably what I've played. But, you know. They play. Uh, 
far as paying refs and the way they set their league up and stuff, you can't help that. All you got to do is just, just depend on God.